This is chapter three, the edit window. If you haven't seen chapter one set up and chapter two, the inspector panel, you may want to watch that. Let's look at the edit window now. Uh, the edit window is actually very similar to this inspector panel here, which we looked at in the last chapter. So you might want to go back and look at that. Um, when you click on the E window on the top or on the individual channel over here, open this up, you'll see an E window. That's the edit window for whichever track you happen to have highlighted. Notice when I highlight the top track, it looks like this. And when I highlight the bottom track, it looks like that. Let's look at the edit window now is for whichever track you happen to have highlight, highlighted. It's showing all the parameters for that. It's actually very similar to the track inspector window. Over here we have our inserts, which is like over here. You'll notice that the inserts are the same. If I make any changes to these, um, let's open something quick here or something on the insert. Um, this is the SPL Vitalizer. Uh, you'll notice that it shows up on both of these windows here because this insert window is the same as that. Basically, this whole window is all of the track inspector uh, panels shown at one time. Uh, and right now, this is the insert. So let's remove that for right now. And you'll see that it looks the same with that on. Um, the next thing you have over here is your paragraphic EQ. This down here is called a parametric EQ. In my home recording course, we're going to do an entire course on EQing. You'll probably want to watch that. It'll be up on the same site as this Cubase course. We do a whole course on EQing, parametric, graphic, paragraphic EQs, uh, how they work, and how to use